and we're back and we're continuing to work through some practice problems involving difference quotients. In this case we're given the function 1 fifth x plus 1 and we're told to find the derivative at the point c where c is 5. So find f prime of 5. Well we'll find f of 5, the value of the function, this is just 1 fifth times 5 plus 1 and that's just 1 plus 1 which is 2 and then I'm going to take the limit as x approaches 5 of f of x which is 1 fifth x plus 1 minus f of 5 which was 2 so it's minus 2 over x minus 5 and let's see if we can simplify this well the plus 1 and the minus 2 clearly simplify so let's do that and I have the limit as x approaches 5 of 1 fifth x minus 1 over x minus 5 and to get rid of this 1 fifth right here I'm going to multiply the top and the bottom of the fraction by 5 and that gives me the limit as x approaches 5 of x minus 5 I'm just distributing the 5 across that and on the bottom I'm going to write it as 5 times x minus 5 and you can see these cancel out so this just gives me the limit as x approaches 5 of 1 fifth which is clearly 1 fifth the limit of a constant is just that constant here's another one f of x is x cubed plus 2x squared minus x plus 3 and c equals 2. We want to find f prime of 2. Find the derivative of this function at the value x equals 2. So let's find f of 2 first. f of 2 is going to be 2 cubed plus 2 times 2 squared minus 2 plus 3. That's 8 plus 8 minus 2 plus 3. That ends up being 17 and then we'll take the limit as x approaches 2 because that's our given value of f of x minus f of 2 and f of x is just this so it's going to be x cubed plus 2x squared minus x plus 3 minus f of 2 which was 17 all over x minus 2 so let's combine that real quick and we'll just have the limit as x approaches 2 of x cubed plus 2x squared minus x minus 14 all over x minus 2. Now can we factor this? Can we, can we factor this in a way that will get the x minus 2 to cancel? And specifically we want to factor out a factor of x minus 2. So let's take this polynomial and see if we can divide it by x minus 2 and the quickest way to do that would be synthetic, synthetic division so let's look at my coefficients. I've got a 1, a 2, a negative 1, and a negative 14. So I'll write them 1, 2, negative 1, negative 14. And let's factor out x minus 2. So I put a 2 there. Bring down the 1. 1 times 2 is 2. And then I add 2 plus 2 is 4. Uh, 4 times 2 is 8, and then I add there, 8 and 1 is 7, 7 times 2 is 14, and this works, I get a 0, so these numbers are the coefficients of my other factor, that's a x squared plus 4x plus 7. So this polynomial is equal to x squared plus 4x plus 7 times x minus 2. So this will be the limit as x approaches 2 of x squared plus 4x plus 7 times x minus 2 and all that over this denominator x minus 2 and these guys cancel out and that leaves me with the limit as x approaches 2 of x squared plus 4x plus 7 
and at this point I can just take this value of 2 and substitute it in there for x. And so this just becomes 2 squared plus 4 times 2 plus 7. So that's 4 plus 8 plus 7. 4 plus 8 is 12 plus 7 is 19. And that's my answer. And here's one more. This one actually comes from an AP exam uh, several years ago. f of x is x squared minus 2 over x minus 1. And we're asked, what is the instantaneous rate of change of function f at x equals 2? And you need, you need to understand this language. The rate of change, we're talking about the derivative. The rate of change of the function as x changes. The derivative at this x value, at that instant. So we're talking about the derivative at a point. So we can just use a difference quotient. The limit as x approaches 2 of f of x minus f of 2 over x minus 2. And don't get confused and put into x minus 1. The function itself has an x minus 1 in the denominator. But we're finding the instantaneous rate of change at x equals 2. So it's the limit of f of x minus f of 2 over x minus 2. So let's figure out what f of 2 is. f of 2 is going to be 2 squared minus 2 over 2 minus 1. Just putting in a 2 for those x's. And so that's 4 minus 2, which is 2 over 1. f of 2 is just 2. So that's what we'll put in here. So I have the limit as x approaches 2 of f of x, which is x squared minus 2 over x minus 1, f of x minus f of 2, all over x minus 2. And I have to try to take that limit. So I need to simplify this. So I'm going to take this 2 right here, and I'm going to multiply it by x minus 1 over x minus 1. And that will give me the limit as x approaches 2 of x squared minus 2 over x minus 1 minus 2x minus 1 over x minus 1, and all that over x minus 2. And now these two fractions have the same denominator, so they can be combined. And I'm going to do this, and I'm going to distribute this 2 right here, remembering that it's really a negative, and that that's also a negative. Let me scroll down just a little bit here. So this gives me the limit as x approaches 2 of x squared minus 2 minus 2x plus 2 all over x minus 1 and all that over x minus 2. And so I'll just continue this up here. We have the limit as x approaches 2. I'll write x squared minus 2x, These uh, the negative 2 and plus 2 canceled out. And then for my denominator here, I can combine these two. Those are both in the denominator. This is just going to be x minus 1 times x minus 2. And this top, the numerator here, factors pretty easily. So I have the limit as x approaches 2 of x times x minus 2 over x minus 1, x minus 2, and there you go. We've canceled out a factor from the top and the bottom, leaving us with the limit as x approaches 2 of x over x minus 1. And we can just substitute a 2 in right here. So this will be 2 over 2 minus 1, which is clearly 2.